So I believe I've, yeah, I've finished the whole 50s category to get that Goku one, but I haven't done any of the 40s. I've done some of the 30s, and I've got some of the 20s left over. So I did the original SBR. I've done everything up until 23, because this was the first stage I started having trouble with, is Giant Form. Uh, now, I've made teams for this stage, and again, the next nine SBRs after this. So if I just go to two, there we are. There's my Giant Form team. Let's do this. We get full items here, so... Ader, Snake, Bulma, and then do we just do... Oh, we do Whis, probably. Whis is better. There we go. Basic support items. Uh, no support member I can think that works for this team. Let's go. I, I imagine these stages are going to be pretty easy to complete. Um, that said, some of these teams I have way more confidence than other ones. So, if I remember the SBR, it's three stages, right? Yep, three stage format. Can I get SBR actually up on here? Just so I can keep an eye on it. Oh, Dokumbuki has a whole challenge category. It's convenient. It's actually really convenient. It keeps me track of all the events I need to beat. There we go. There we go. Cool. Okay, all of the ones on this one are three by the look of it. Okay. So, first off, we have these. Now, the cool thing about this, as it is, is we guarantee to get this Piccolo... Uh, attack every single rotation. This Piccolo actually is really good for SBR. I need to maybe actually think about putting him on my other teams that I'm doing events with. I've said it before. The 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai is my favorite. Uh, it's my favorite arc in Dragon Ball. So the representation it's gotten in this game through this Piccolo and the Goku from uh, Saiyan Day last year. So good. There we go. So we have STR and Int left. We have a starting about rotations here. So the other two Piccolos are already teamed up with each other. This Piccolo goes well with him. Okay, so we'll put him up front because it's this Piccolo is going to be the best unit. Um, Fizz is strong with Int, so we'll make sure Bogamo attacks you. Yep, there we go. Let's make sure we all get 12 keys. And this should kill them both pretty easily. Is that an 8 million attack stat? And he stuns too. This guy is just built for SBR. 9 million second attack, by the way. Yeah, I gotta make sure I got Piccolo on these uh, teams for the other events. But I, if he's applicable to the category, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, next is Vegeta. AGL Fizz STR stages. Ah, we're gonna get this every time. Uh, I might just switch these to once a day, actually. Let's just, uh... There we go. So we go, put these two together. Oh wow, they only share two links? I think he actually shares more links with... He shares four links with Tapion, more than he does with this guy. I might rotate you off then, actually. Because Tapion's got damage reduction, too. He also makes him lose an action as well. Just to make this Piccolo even more insane. Okay. Uh, no way to get this Tapion to Super, unfortunately. We'll just do this to clear... Uh, ah, that didn't clear how I thought it would. That's fine. Clear that one. Unable to attack due to fear. He is the Demon King. I just realized Piccolo's attacking the uh, wrong unit too, but it just doesn't bother me. 
This Piccolo is going to just destroy them both because it's Orange Piccolo. Actually, he won't. That was only a single attack. Okay. This Piccolo will destroy them. Okay, yeah, he'll finish off the Goku here. And then next turn, we can just nuke again. Oh, we can't nuke again. There's only going to be one of them. Oh, never mind. He's just going to do a triple... Triple attack super. There we go. Piccolo Jr., man. Okay, last one now. Tapion, Trunks, and Goku. I'm really sure you said with Baby. Only one with Baby. Okay, three overall, though, so this is probably the best place to keep him. A lot of health on the Tapion. A lot of health on the Goku, too. Okay. Okay, are you boost with each attack received? Um, okay. Well, you're in danger, then. This this guy is easy aid. He is getting boosted here as well. Yeah, so th I say we do keep it in the way they're set up already. Um... Okay, let's see. AGL into... Let's we'll see if we can take this guy out. Avoid an attack there. And then we go all in, I think, on... Yeah, all in on the Tapion. See if we can take him out. Interestingly, didn't fear the, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Okay, there we go. Fear on the Tapion. 7.6. Okay, there's Tapion, so now it's just Goku. Easy. That's mean we can't do the uh, active skill with Piccolo. In the next Actually, he's not even in the next rotation. That's right, I rotated him off. So it doesn't matter. Nutrations, Demigra, Tapion, and Orange. Orange boy. Oh, don't even need it. The criticals are too powerful. Piccolo Jr. solo. Okay, there we go. Another SPR down. Okay, next is Ginyu Force. Uh, definitely not one we're going to be able to use that Piccolo on. We do already have a Ginyu Force team set up, though. And there we go. 90%, I'll take that. And we actually can use a support memory here, because most of these are Namek Saga. So we got a support memory as well. This should be an easy win. Most vulnerable unit here is probably this Jace, but he is extremely good on the team uh, because he's a scatter unit, so we can see where all the supers are coming from and just make sure we put them on our biggest defender. <laughs> power level 530,000. I should warn you about my power level in the interest of fairness. You see, sir, it's 530,000. Okay, let's see how rotations are looking. Look at the defense stats, so good. Now, which can you does this guy work best, actually? So he shares four with this one, five with this one. So, yeah, we probably put them... This is the... Uh, so he boosts Ginyu's by 59%. This guy... Boosted by 30%. And then you yourself have attack boost. You're under Yeah, so we probably do put these two next to each other. Okay, so int is best into... Let's do int into int. Oh, no, he's AGL, right. It's AGL and STR, then. What am I saying? There's so many orb changes. So tech into AGL, into SDR. So, yeah, we'll do the same. 
spheres into it. There we go. 6.8, 12 key, by the way. This is the friend ones, he's 90%. Uh, but each of those supers is going to give us an attack, a def a defense boost. So you might just finish them both off here and now. This is a... No, nah, basic, okay. If that was a super additional, that would have finished him. Double digits, though. doesn't matter. I think with SPR, as long as you're above 200 defense stat, I believe you can tank almost anything. Uh, like any basics, anyway. It's funny to think when SPR came out, how insane of these levels were for just the damage, which shows the, the like, power level creep of Dokkan. That we, these levels were ones that we were like, oh god, over before. Now we're like, yes, yeah, fine, we got this. Okay, what's this skin you best with? So, you should have five with this one. Five with this one. Um, now, you are a boost. And you are... Okay, yeah, so yeah, we link these two together. Okay, AGL into fizz, we'll do that way. Int into int. And then STR into fizz. Man, double digits before he even gets the defense boost from the supers. This is my Ginyu, so. This unit's still really good. I feel like he hasn't come back that much, but like the. The Ginyu Force team on its own is really, genuinely a pretty good team. Um, so if you have this guy and can get the two LRs, while I'm running the two banner units, um, I've run this team before without them. And yeah, you can use the free-to-play ones pretty effectively. Particularly uh, Goldo and Jace are the two best free-to-play Ginyu Force units. And when you get them easy aid, yeah, they're, they're decent on their own. Pile Driver... Okay, super coming in the back there, but look at that defense stat. We don't really even care. We literally can get back up to full HP here by collecting these. This is going to do maybe four digits. Nope, three. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't get confident because I know Red Zone's going to kick my ass as it always has. Red Zone last year was very good. Like, I remember doing the red zone stages last year with a lot of those year 8 units, and very fun. Now we fight the fake Ginyu Force. Yeah, now in all honesty, they're just better here, together. Okay, AGL into AGL. Intent attack. And we'll do fizz into fizz. I know there's a strat where usually you like uh, take out one unit first in SBR, but because of how Ginyu's working, he's taking one out each on their own. So we're better off just going for type effectiveness. There you go. I didn't finish him. Well, there you go. The basic did. Oh, we've lost it again. It seems to be the, um... I think it's just losing connection off the, um... Oh, it went again. I think it's just my USB hub that's losing connection, is what's causing it. There we go. Yeah, because I've, I've, I have a really kind of shoddy USB hub that I run a lot of my stuff off. Because um, my laptop doesn't have... I use a laptop for streaming, by the way. Uh, my laptop doesn't have enough uh, ports to, like, operate everything. Um, like, for USB ports at the moment, we've got to use uh, the mic, the camera, the phone. Uh, we also have a USB port to do a hard drive. Uh, the light on my monitor, that's also USB. So just so much of a USB base. I need to get a better hub, in all honesty. But I'm waiting for, like, a real big upgrade when I feel like I need to upgrade. At the moment, it, everything runs. Maybe not well, but it runs. 
And when I feel like we, we're going to do like a big upgrade for the channel, that's when we're going to do it. Maybe next year. It all depends on... It's worth talking about, actually. So, like, obviously, I've talked about how this year is... Oh, there it goes again. I've talked before about how this year has been a big upgrade for the channel. Um, and it has. We've we've extremely expanded our content from last year. Uh, we've introduced so many new series. We're getting a lot more... I feel like a lot more confident in content creation now. But I'm still keeping to my mantra, and I'm still only doing it where I find it fun. We're really taking a big expansion. I think the biggest expansion we took was that YCS video, which at the moment is sitting at uh, just over 9,000 views, which is more than I could have ever hoped for. So f for anyone that watched that video, thank you. If the Bulma was on Bond of Friendship, I think it'd be worth it. Okay, so this team should be good enough, I think. For the I remember Youth is a team that's given us trouble over some time. Um, but with the easy A to the Gotenks and the Bulma unit, I think this would be pretty... Pretty easy to use. Hey, wait, why didn't your animation proc? I must have used her today already. Oh, wait, I turned animations off, period, didn't I? No, that's a once per day. Okay. I hope you're getting your buff then. Actually, I can see. Yeah, she's got guard active. Okay, three, four, three. Great. Okay, cool. Put bomb up front. She a good. She's a good slot one unit, right? Yeah, she is. She's actually a, a unit that grows as the battle goes on. She needs. So she wants key spears. How's Goku work? He also wants key spears, doesn't he? Yeah. So both these are key spear units. They kind of conflict with each other. Uh, but we can, we'll make do. Okay, so we do Bulma here. Unit super triggers. Bulma Goku. Goku's Fizz, so Fizz into Fizz makes the most sense. Take these ones. And then we'll just take this bonus one here for the Gotenks. Let's see how good Bulma is on her own. 6.4, yeah. This Bulma is brilliant. Another one I lucked into. I believe I pulled her on the carnival for, um... I think... It might have been when I was chasing the Free Science carnival unit. Um... But what a great LR. She's one of the few units that puts, uh... Oh, 9.2 of the Power to Power Goku. I love this unit, too. Path to Power was my childhood favorite Dragon Ball movie. Still one of my favorites. I still think one of the best introductions to the franchise. Aside from Battle of Gods. Uh, if you're trying to show someone what the spirit of Dragon Ball is. That said, probably not inappropriate, uh, probably not appropriate for the age I've watched that. And definitely responsible for giving my, my childhood crush on Bulma, that's for damn sure. You can learn a lot about someone by, like, what their Dragon Ball childhood crush was, because a lot of, uh, most Dragon Ball fans have had one. The, the, the female cast is so expansive in Dragon Ball of different, like, with, while admittedly tropey female anime characters. A lot of people have a favorite, and yeah, for me it's Bulma. 18, I believe, is pretty much the most popular. Probably, probably followed by Bedell. I think Bulma's really third most popular. Which is ironic, because she's the main female lead. Three. Three. These two share a lot. In reality, probably just best to... I mean, it doesn't really matter which one we keep on rotation. Okay, Fizz into Int. Yeah, five key spears. Do you you want key as well, don't you? No, okay. Oh, she wants to be first unit, okay. Oops, should have probably put her first then. Oh well, I'll keep her here and I'll rotate around next time. Uh, stuck in AGL. Then we'll do AGL and AGL too. Full point nine off my one, so the friend one's way more powerful here. But that is also with the Bulma uh, increase. Bulma does amazing for stats, like as a support unit. Like that's what she primarily is.
I do wish the Bulma was on more teams. I think if she was a pure Bulma, not a Bulma and Oolong. Actually, is she a pure Bulma? I don't actually know. I'll check after this rotation. Yep, Goku doesn't care. This Pan's cool too. I'm happy we got a Dokkan Fest Pan. I feel like with Dokkan Fest now, because like LR is just losing a lot of their exclusivity. Um, and because of that, I think Dokkan Fest should be less particular with what we get. Obviously, we keep getting Dokkan Fest that are like units that are that fit a significant part. Um, I realize they're the same thing. Okay, let's see. Uh... Oh, I gotta actually go into here to see. Is it? Oh, no, it's Balm. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm dumb. Yes, yeah, so we just do you two. Da -dun 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 -dun. We'll just do this. And then we do this. And then we do this. And this Roshi's just dead. Just so dead. 7.7. .7. Easy. Um, what was I saying? Oh, don't confess. Right, yeah, like, obviously... I think the big th change that a lot of people pissed, got pissed off was Dokkan Fest for Dell, which, as a Peppy Gal leader, was the most obvious and made the most sense. And then since then, we've had Dokkan Fest Kale, we've had Dokkan Fest, um... Just talking about it. Pan. Um, and I think we need to go more in terms of Dokkan Fest that might not have before been a Dokkan Fest, while also maintaining the exclusivity of LRs. Um, especially considering we're getting a lot of repeat LRs now. We just got our second LR Jiren. We've got, what, our third LR UI... Um, that just released as well. I think we need Dokkan Fest Krillin. Where is Dokkan Fest Krillin? The game is now nine years old. Oh, we're coming up on nine. Actually, yeah, nine, nine years old. This is the ninth anniversary, what am I saying? And we still don't have a Dokkan Fest Krillin. Okay, so we'll put this pan in front. Um, and that's insane to me. Because Krillin should have a Dokkan Fest unit. And I don't understand why he doesn't. Like, it doesn't make sense why Krillin has had a Dokkan Fest. I think, because, like, we've had a Dokkan Fest Yamcha before we've had a Dokkan Fest Krillin. I don't get it. And I guess, yeah, Yamcha's got Sokidan. Krillin's big moment was the Destructor Disc, which we got that in a free-to-play LR. So, yes, that does make sense. I think you do, with the, especially with the way we're leaning towards what-if units, do a Namek Krillin. Um, like a Namek Krillin where his... He starts in the Saiyan Gi, and then he transforms into the... No, sorry, starts in the the um, the um Turtle Gi, and then turn, transforms into the Saiyan Gi. Um, kind of like we do have with the Gohan and Krillin unit. Uh, and give him unit super attacks. Like... His whole kit is units, like the Pan. He has a unit super attack with Gohan. He has a unit super attack with Vegeta. He has a unit super attack with Piccolo. And he has a unit super attack with Goku. And the Goku one can be a what if. Like, that just makes the most sense to me. Maybe, you don't need really the Piccolo one, but I think the Piccolo one would be kind of cool. But, like, the Gohan one can be, um, him and Gohan attacking Frieza like they do when Piccolo's fighting and when Goku starts a Spirit Bomb. Him and Vegeta can be a cool reference to, like, the Ginyu Force fight. Um, just, it'd be, it'd be so cool. I want a Dokkan Fest Krillin. You can give him a whole new category, too, of, like, underdogs or, like, um, fighting beyond oneself. Something, something about, like, fighting a, a strong enemy when you're too weak to fight it. Like, that'd be such a cool category, and you could fit, like, every Goku on there. Or a lot of the early Gokus, anyway. Um, anyone that sort of fought an enemy more stronger than themselves. Okay, another stage genre. Yeah, let's do this team. Connected Hope, Margin Boost, Saga Boost. Is he on, is he on Connected Hope? He's not. Okay, he's only getting 170. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You guys only give 150, right? I need to give 170. Okay, so this is still the better the better leader to run for Rama Gods. How are the summons for you? For Night Danny? I did those a few weeks ago, but they were very good, Reptile. We ended up getting... Uh, we only went on Broly's banner, but in two... Ro was it? Did we do two rotations? Yeah. In two rotations, we got Zamasu, Broly, and uh, the new... The, the Tournament of Power duo. Uh, all of which were new units I didn't have before. Okay. 
Hmm, I haven't used these units in a while, so... Uh, four... Ooh, six with that, okay. And yeah, we'll put you up front. I need to remember their kits, actually, so... I know they both stack defense, so they transform. So, additional defense as first, additional attack in second. And you work the same? Yep. Yeah, and... Oh, you stack attack, and the other one stacks defense, right. And then you go standby, 50% from fourth or more. Probably not going to trigger. Be the same. Yeah, okay. Okay, I remember the units now. Okie dokie. Okay, SDR into Fizz. <laughs> hey, love. Um, the banner's not really good enough for me. I'm free to play, so I'm saving just for Beast at this point. Actually, the same. Well, I was trying to get fusion for so long. Glad I finally got him. That's cool. That's cool. I'm happy I got the Zamasu myself. That was something I really wanted to pull. Okay, Fizz into Int. Um, STR Turkish. It doesn't really matter. I'll just use the STR orbs. And then AGL into STR. Just take these. So yeah, we're saving all those stones for Beast at this point. Um, depending how that goes, we'll either use stones on Gamma, and we might just use the 55 ticket summon on Gogeta. I really don't know what I'm going to use the, the 50 ticket summon on. Pretty plays well, Gogeta my first summon, 30 stones. Hey, that's very nice. Yeah. I was debating doing the same, actually. Just three, the three summons in Gogeta's. Um, I might even just use the 30 stones on that banner. I'll think about it. To be fair, with all these high-level stages that I'm starting to be with the team I've got now, finally going back into it. That was 12. Sorry, was that a tw was that a 10 million 18 key? These 8th anniversary units still hold up. I know it's only been a year, so it's weird to say that, but they're just so fun. 6.9. The animations are so good. I know the Boo unit in particular has gotten some hatred, but man, I love this Boo unit, but that's just because I'm a Boo Saga sucker. Yeah, maybe I'll do just like 30 stones on Gogeta to see how I feel about it. I don't know. I've got time to decide. We've still got seven days of the discounts until they go away and then we get Beast and Gammas. Because this is the thing. Like, the Gamma unit is, like, slightly better for me. Because, um... The Gamma unit has the the Gohan and the Kai Goku, which are two units I would love to pull. I, I would like the Zamasu, too, if he had a different name. I can't believe Dokkan still doesn't... Why didn't they call the Zamasu a different name? The tech one. The worldwide carnival one. So dumb. Um, but yeah, the beast unit, the beast banner is so good. Even though, to be fair, the two AGL duo units not age well. I just want beast. Beasts are too cool. Use for take of beast. I don't have any more of the units, but a single copy of Chibi Goku Vegeta who saved me all year. Let's revive. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I got plenty of time to figure out when I use my 50, 50 ticket multi on. Uh, okay, we we got to put these two together. Man, they barely link at all. Okay, we'll put, good, put Vegito up front. Um, so, attack and STR. We'll just go all in on Evil Boo then. Uh, clear these. That should make the... Oh, damn it. I thought I'd make the STR orbs fall down. Um, we're short either way. If we do these, that should clear the AGL. Nope, never mind. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, perfect. I forgot. Man, there's so many units that just have the free additional key per key spear obtained that just makes them so insane like that's why the year set we get the year 70 ZAs in six months that is insane to think about like how are they not how are they gonna easy a them because they're they're still good it's like what are they gonna do to them they're probably just gonna it sucks so they're gonna have to give them like a bad easy a that won't age well because if they give them a good easy a they'll be eternally good forever i just saw myself from chasing after god goku vegeta as i heard their easy a is soon or something uh, oh, this one, the one, the year seven one. Yeah, they'll get their easy A in um, seven months from now. Seven, s seven months actually six months. No, less than that, five months. Right? Because uh, January thirty first is JP's anniversary. Uh, but we'll get it like part three. So yes, six months from now. <laughs> they might finish them here. They're that good. And the animations still hold up so well. I'm happy we've gotten the god 
the god duo for year seven up to 79 percent because i great i prefer super to gt and it's a very controversial topic to bring up so all these super animation units are just so good to me okay last battle now and then we'll claim our missions and we'll wrap up the stream Okay. Uh, well, we put the friend one up in front easily. Mm, okay. How can we make these fall how we want them? There we go. Perfect. Uh, make sure. Actually, no. STR and AGL is bad. We'll just we'll just get all in on Zamasu. Hmm. They don't really fall how we want them, but it's fine. This 12 key is strong enough as is. Ooh, that did a decent amount, actually. But that shows how strong these year 8s are, because that did not do nearly that much. They are run to under the 200% leader skill, though. Uh, basic additional. Another super? Another super? No, no super. Okay. Okay, so the year 8 GT duo is 7.5. I do love this unit. The idea of a Kid Goku and a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta combo is such a good idea that I'm happy they did. If we do get GT for Worldwide, like is rumored, I'm really curious to wonder what they'll do. We really don't know what Worldwide's gonna be. I, as I said earlier in the stream, I do hope it is... Ah, oh, god damn it. Why do we keep losing the... The connection? I do hope that it is, um, Year 8 Bro uh, Movie 8 Broly and Goku. I think that would just be the coolest unit to do a, a worldwide duo for. But if they do GT... It has been a while since we got a baby. But we did just get a Goku. So, like, it's really weird, like, to think. Like, unless we get an LR base Goku... But then they'd have to reuse a lot of the Broly animations that we just... I'm uh, sorry, the baby Super Saiyan 4 animations that we just got. See, I don't know what we're going to get. Uh, we probably put these two together. We're back. Partner needed me. Duty calls, as you know. What a good run. Good job, us. Good, good job, us.